Welcome back to LTD Forge. I hope you're having a great day. As you can see, I got the separated two piles of 15 in 20 and 1084. I'm going ahead and welding them together here. Um, just trying to something new. Uh, I've seen out there people do voiceover while the video plays. I have no problem. Uh, as you can see, I'm not that great of a welder, but you see your darkened lights, which is uh, the 15 in 20 and uh, the 1084. Here I am uh, pressing it out here. Uh, like I said, I just got this new press and um, been really eager to try it out. So this is my uh, first real attempt of actually using it. Um, I had a lot of different issues. Um, obviously, you can see my dies there. I put little tabs on them before. They're just free and they would keep either sliding out backwards or forwards uh, because the metal would stick to it. Um, so, like I said, this is all a learning curve for me right now. And this is just going to be a simple project. Uh, as you can see, uh, I, my forge, it looks like it's not heating up that well. I'm using a darker contrast uh, filter to uh, film in on my phone here. And uh, as you can see, I'm switching out the dies there to draw it out. Because um, it just wasn't, wasn't squishing much anymore. Um, I bought this um, forge actually from a friend he had one pre-built and uh, as you can see I do need to make some modifications because I think that uh, the I use a 20 ton bottle jack underneath it with a, it's hooked up to a hydraulic or a air compressor but that I-beam on the bottom I think is just way too much weight so in the future I'm going to hog it off on the sides and just keep a middle strip and uh, possibly the outsides to keep it stable. Um, and actually, if you can see, it looks like the forge is not heating it up all the way to um, move the metal, but it actually is. It, it's doing a really good job. I, in the meantime, I'm actually uh, building a new burner or remodifying the burners I already have. I, bought, I built a burner already. It's pretty powerful, nice jet on it. Um, but, oh yeah, I had to use my tongs because the uh, handle keeps popping off. Because the uh, forge is just really, really hot. That's what I figured. So I had to re actually re-weld that uh, handle on, oh gosh, I want to say seven or eight times. And it was it always pop off in the middle of pressing this. So it, uh, I had to use the tongs a couple times during this thing. Uh, that big rod that I keep moving back and forth is actually connected to the bottle jack at the bottom to uh, so I can release it. And just above, it's a hand trigger. I'm going to switch to a uh, pedal trigger, but probably later on. They're only like $20, 20 to $30 on Amazon. Really cheap. Uh, but yeah, I'm using a... Uh, 29 gallon uh, air compressor I think 27 or 29 which it, it works but um, it, nothing like a hydraulic I'm going to be oh yeah um, so I had to take it off camera and pound it out and there's actually about two weeks in between of filming this part and other parts because I was in the hospital for a while with a couple issues with my neck um and for some reason, a lot of my footage, because it still gets way too hot in my garage when I'm running my uh, double burner forge, and it keeps shutting off my camera, but the weirdest thing's been happening, I lost my footage completely. But anyways, this is the same piece of metal. I, I hammered on it a lot. And in fact, I had my one of my assistants working on it in my absence, and um, it, I went through at least a tank to get to this far. And if you see, I have marks all in there. It's because my dies, my flattening dies are still squared at the end. So I got to go in there with the grinder and shave them down to make them more rounded. So they don't leave these big gashes in my uh, billets as I'm making them. Because as you see, when I go through there, they, they, they get pretty deep. And, um, I don't know, maybe it'll help with the pattern. But, yeah, it just, they're so deep, it's... It was burning up a, a flap disc and a, a surfacing grinding um, disc. Um, but on this side, it's not too bad. I mean, there's a few visible ones. 
but also it's from going in there in an angle, not leveling out because the Ford forge is or the uh, press is actually sitting on a dolly, and it's not. I don't think it's high enough from my height. I'm you know I'm six feet, and I have to actually kind of bend down. I have a chair sitting next to it. Sometimes I feed it in that way. Um, but as you can see, yeah, those gashes are pretty deep. Um, I'm just cleaning it up a bit because um, I don't I don't know what I want to do with this one. I know I need to cut it up and um, re-put it in there to compound the layers. But I, I just, like I said, I'm just fooling around right now, checking it out, testing the waters on it, seeing how it works out. And uh, obviously it works out pretty good because it flattened this out real, real nice for me. Um, like I said, I got to do a little bit more research, a couple more videos, checking it out, uh, how to, uh, either stack it or cut them down the middle and to cubes and redirect the pattern. And I think that's pretty much what I want to do is turn it up on in, flatten it that way and pull it down. Um, but, uh, I want to get a, a buddy's opinion of mine that he just lives around the way and he has a home shop as well. So, yep, that's the bar pretty much. Uh, thank you for watching. Go ahead and like and subscribe.